Hi guys and welcome to another video lesson. Today we're going to be looking at adding a bass drum variation to our quaver groove. So as we already know, grooves get their name from the cymbal pattern, or you could say from what your lead hand is playing. Whether you're a left-hander or a right-hander, it's our lead hand that tends to play the cymbal. Okay, so we know what a groove is. We're looking at a quaver groove, so that must mean we're playing quavers on the cymbal. Right, with you, okay. So what's variation then? Well, variation means a slight change. With any groove, you've basically got three options. You can add something, you can take something away, or you can move something. Those are the ways we can vary our grooves. Today we're going to go with the adding something option. We're going to add a bass drum to two and. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the complete groove. This is what we're aiming for. Don't worry, I'm just going to play it all in one go to start with and then we'll break it down. I'm going to play it at 70 beats per minute. This is just for you to have a listen so you know what we're working towards today. Here it comes. Okay, so let's break that down. We'll do it one half at a time. So let's look at the first half of the bar. We've got one and two and, and we've got our variation right at the end. We've got that extra bass drum on two and. Try and make sure when you're adding the bass drum that it comes down at exactly the same time as your hand does on the cymbal, on the hi-hat. So right-handers like me, right hand and right foot at exactly the same time. Left-handers, left hand and left foot at exactly the same time. I'll play the first half of the bar at 70 beats per minute and I'll rest beats three and four. If you need to pause the video here, slow it down, work on it on your own, that's fine. Go ahead and do that and then come back and join me when you're ready. Here we go. Right, so let's look at the second half of the bar. Well, the good news here is it's exactly the same as a normal quaver groove. It's got a bass drum on three and a snare drum on four, and the cymbal's just playing the quavers as per usual. So I'll play the second half of the bar. I'll rest beats one and two, 70 beats per minute. Here we go. Right, let's put both of those halves together to complete our groove.
Right, so let's take this groove we've been working on and put it in a 3-1 resolve. I've gone for the standard quaver fill, if you like, probably the first or second fill that you learn. If you want to change that, that's fine. If you're feeling really brave, why not add a crash symbol to beat one of the resolve? I'm just going to keep it on the hi-hat today, but why not put that crash symbol in when you're ready? Here we go, 70 beats per minute. So that's it, adding a bass drum to our quaver groove. We put it on two and, and we've got a brand new groove. When you're playing quaver grooves, it's often thought when you learn a new quaver groove, oh no, I've got to go back to the beginning. It took a lot of work, didn't it? To learn that first quaver groove, to go from playing the four notes to suddenly playing eight, that was a big jump and it took a lot of work. And when we say, right, we're gonna learn more quaver grooves, people tend to think, oh no, I'm gonna have to spend just as much time on everything. You're not going to. The basis of the quaver groove is the same. Eight cymbals, bass on one and three, snare on two and four. We're just adding, taking something away, or moving something. So today we added the bass drum to two and. The rest of the bar was exactly the same. So, bit of maths, bit of crazy fractions going on here, but basically you already knew seven eighths of what we were gonna do today before I even told you what we were gonna do. We added just one quaver to the groove. Experiment with the basic quaver groove. Decide whether you're gonna add something, take something away, or move something. Decide whether that's gonna be a snare drum or a bass drum, and then see what happens. For example, I might decide, you know what, I'm gonna put a bass drum on three and instead of two and like we did today. Or actually, I wanna put the snare drum on two and instead of the bass drum. You get the idea. You can add stuff, take stuff away, move stuff. The one thing that's gonna stay the same is that quaver pattern on the cymbal, whether you do it on the hi-hat or the ride, or if you wanna be noisy, you can put it on the crash as well. That's gonna stay the same. One and two and three and four and. That's where the groove gets its name. Anything else, you can move, change, add, take away. See how many different quaver groove variations you can create. I've shown you one today. See how many you can make on your own. So that's it for today's lesson on quaver groove variation. Bit of a short one today, but there's plenty of mileage in there. Experiment, have some fun, create your own variations. If you've got any questions, please feel free to get in touch. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, stay safe, and enjoy your drumming, guys.